Over the past 10 years of hunting and filming professionally, my journey has evolved. I once sought animals in adventure, and I still seek those things. Yet now more than ever, I seek answers around the growing questions that surround myself as a hunter. I've found that my connection to the land brings a certain clarity to the rest of my life. This is what brings me back into high country. Hunting mule deer for me has been something I've looked forward to ever since I was a little boy. There's something special about being able to come out into these parts of Montana and glass these vast badlands that stretch for hundreds of miles and begin to pick out mule deer. At a glance, this country can look desolate at times. It can look as though there's hardly anything around. But when you really take the time to pick it apart, you start to find out how many deer actually live here. Hunting the mule deer during the rut is something special. There's very few places in the world that over the counter you're able to hunt the mule deer during the rut, and Montana is one of them. Because of this, we've taken advantage of this from the time I was 12 years old. I'll never forget taking my very first mule deer buck it was a cold November morning, and right at daylight, we spotted this buck rutting does, and from that day forward, it's that moment that I crave. It's spotting that buck at daylight, sniffing does, and so occupied, he doesn't even know you're there. It's those moments that bring me back here, year after year. Thank you. 
I think what I like about hunting mule deer is the challenge in the terrain they live in. Not that hunting whitetails isn't a challenge, but it's a whole different list of tricks in your playbook you have to bring out in order to be successful hunting mule deer. In most places, you can't wait for mule deer to come to you. Hunting by tree stand just isn't effective. So it's essential that you're geared up and have the right tools to go after them. Being able to find areas that hold quality bucks can be one of the most challenging parts. Finding deer in places across the West isn't the hardest part, but finding mature old bucks that are right for the taking, that's what I've found drives me and challenges me to hunt mature deer year after year. Not because I'm a trophy hunter, more because I like the challenge that hunting older class animals provides. Mule deer can live in a wide variety of terrain, from prairie grasslands to above tree line and everywhere in between. I prefer hunting them in the badlands. It's where I grew up hunting them and it's where I know how to hunt them effectively. These big old mature bucks can hide. We're just bushwhacking through this stuff. Come to right here where you can see they've carved out a flat spot to bed. There is no way you would see these. Yeah, this is super steep where we're trying to come down off. We're having to be very careful. I mean, every step counts. It's steep enough. If you started going, you would not stop. So, we're trying to hurry, but be careful. Lots of times I'll focus on the deepest, darkest holes I can find. And what I mean by that is holes in the pressure and actual deep holes with forest and water and everything they need. Most hunters don't hunt these spots because most guys know if they crawl down in and take something, there's only one way to get it out. But lots of times this is where the old bucks live. Today I hunted this spot for a multiple reasons. Not only was it one of the deepest, darkest holes I could find, but we had a severe west wind. And this was one of the only areas the deer could get out of the wind today. So it made sense to me that any deer that might be living in this area would even be forced into a smaller area than normal because of the extreme high winds. Then I spotted what I had been hunting for an old mature loner of a buck, which told me he was smart. I watched him bed down, so I knew at this point time was on my side. I just needed to be patient and settle in and let him stand on his own.
I've realized in these moments that I appreciate this moment more than I ever have. Before I pull the trigger, I try to take in as much as I can where I'm at in the world, the animal that I'm looking at, not only the sights, but the smells and the sounds as well. I try to just soak it up in these moments of anticipation. where the pavement ends, on X begins. Look around us. I mean, I don't, I don't know what to say other than beautiful old mature buck in the middle of nowhere, public land, Montana. I just can't help but to keep staring around and trying to take this in. This this valley we're in, this place is amazing. find an old buck down here out of the wind. He was so camouflaged. And we kept moving around this bench and moving around and we'd lose him. But he'd never move. He was always in the same spot. He was just that camo and we're able to slip in here and just wait him out. Made two great shots. Put him down and as you can see, I mean, We've got our work cut out for us. This stuff is straight up and down. We're gonna have to figure out how we're even gonna get to him. This is my first one. Shooting a 270 Browning X bolt. I'm gonna get the pack on and just work my way over there. Get to work on this guy. I'm worried we got a storm rolling in and we got limited time, so we gotta get to work.
is what it's all about right here. Montana public land. Beautiful mule deer buck. I mean, out here in God's country, storms rolling in. That's what it's all about right here. Yeah, he has just got an enormous body, which we knew. Big old mature buck like this. Look at this thing. Look at how tall and heavy. Montana, public land mule deer. You know, this is just a testament to the hard work that the Mule Deer Foundation and its members and looking after these deer and making sure they have what they need when they need it through the changing seasons and this is a testament of what anybody could go out and hunt is bucks like these right here in montana public land heavy this this side's six super heavy in here this side's four we gotta get to work on this guy get some pictures and get to work because we gotta go straight up and it's gonna get dark soon but man was it worth it look at this mule deer buck oh thank you it's hard to put into words what it means to me to be able to come out here and hunt deer year after year and find success in similar areas it seems like with a lot of animals things change what was good 10 years ago isn't good anymore so when you find those areas for deer or elk or antelope or whatever it may be you're hunting, they're special. And this area has provided for me since I was 12 years old. It's hard to find places like this in the world. And when you do, you have to treat them extra special. <laughs>